Hello guys, this is our third tutorial. Um, we started uh, first tutorial. We started uh, creating our 3D character using Adobe Fuse application. After that, we animated our character um, in Maxima, and right now we will continue creating animation using Adobe Photoshop CC. We have two options to work with our 3D object. We can um, download animation. Uh, through uh, Maxima website or we can open our 3D character in Photoshop and apply animation directly through from um, Photoshop. Uh, I saved my character I created in Fuse to my 3D library and now I have option just click on it and I have um, opened my 3D character I created um, using uh, Adobe Fuse in my uh, Adobe Photoshop CC. What I would like to do, I would like to add background. So I will create new layer. I will bring this layer on the bottom and I will open my library. I have Adobe Stock library. I love Adobe Stock. I'm using Adobe Stock um, pretty much with um, everything, with my tutorials, with my graphic design work. I'm a photographer, professional photographer, um, uh, but sometimes very often I need uh, some image uh, but I have no time to, uh, to take picture of. So example, if I need some background of New York, definitely I will not fly to New York to take just one picture of uh, something what I want uh, to work with. So let me go through my library very quick and I will choose um, image I would like to work with. This is Elf. We created Elf. Uh, using Adobe uh, Fuse and now we will add uh, some background to it. Resize. She is teenager elf in the middle of forest, probably in the morning. Click OK. I will close my library and I will change uh, my workspace to 3D and now I will um, move my object 3D object just to any place I want to I will be able to rotate her. Pretty much awesome, yes. And now I would like to add um, character uh, animation to my uh, character. So I will go and open um, uh, properties panel. It's open already. So what I would like to do. Let's go and choose animation we would like to apply. Let's do standing. Let's see. No, it's sitting, standing right now. We will apply right now. Let's see. Uh, standing pose. We will open our timeline. It's very important. And let's see. She just very tired. Now let's change uh, her pose. Let's go to another page. We have a uh, 30 pages. It's awesome. We can apply a still pose so she will be not moving. 
uh, we can uh, apply animation example she will be um, jumping now and I love this because she's teenager she wants to jump so I like it no I don't need to do it step backward so let's see one more time <laughs> and what we can do now we can um rotate her or we can apply um, any adjustment to our uh, animation because uh, it's Photoshop everything is possible so treat your 3d layer 3d animation 3d character like uh, any other layer so you you can continue working on it add anything you want to but what i will do right now i will add uh, some exposure just slightly and definitely what I would like to apply, I would like to apply kind of um, fall feeling for fall color. I love this um, adjustment. As you can see, I apply adjustment to separate layers so I can um, change opacity, blending uh, mode and everything I want to. Uh, also, probably I will apply curves. Let's see. Yes, I like what I'm seeing. And now let's see. It's morning, our happy elf teenager. I like it. What we can do right now? Right now we go on uh, 3D. Let me see. Our 3D layer. Right click and uh, render 3D layer. I will not click on render 3D layer because we have a busy background and we applied animation. Um, rendering will take about uh, one or two hours because uh, it will render every single uh, pixel. Definitely.